So we're keeping this because it said they play Reanimator. <laughs> Other than that, we uh, probably shouldn't. Yeah, big, uh, big trip. This would be close even if it wasn't Reanimator. You know what's interesting? Um, I listened to Anzid talk about, um, yeah, probably this exact list. Um... Not cool, bro. But yeah, I listened to Anzid talk, and he said that when they do Philly, they uh, have to pay, like, a crazy fee. It's, like, 400 bucks or something like that to just, like, you know, film. That's stupid. So, for Reanimate doing this, I feel good. I think they're going to just take the Ren. They could take the Pun. If they take the Pun... Okay. Mm, I'm going to do a Dex in Fetch here. That did not help. Um, come to think of it, that Dex in Fetch was kind of risky. Because if I would have drawn Saga, that actually would have been bad. So, a little sus, as the kids would say. Um, none of them that are, like, built well, you know? Like, um, I have, like, Canadian Threshold with Nimble Mongooses. Um, I have Sensi's Divine Top with, like, Terminus built with, like, Treasure Cruise in it, you know? Nothing that's, like, the way it should be. Depending on your perspective, the way it should be. Uh, I have Goblins when it was an Aether Vile deck. Back when, back when it was cool to be an Aether Vile deck. Um, I think there is a high likelihood that I win this game now, because I'm going to get the Soul Guide Lantern in play, the sideboard card that I play main deck. So we're going to get a knight here. It was tempting to get the other construct, but I think knight is just too good. That's awesome, I star. I'm glad you're consistent. It's always cool having you in here, too. For the different perspective of, like, what I should be looking out for. I've, like, never played a combo deck in my life, you know? Yeah. Did they exile my yard? Um... Yeah, well, the good thing is, if I draw a blank here, I can, I can make a set, a construct now. Um, that's interesting. Cool.
Yeah. Hey, good to see you with you, woman. The the new dredge deck, um I can't say if it's the new one, but the new dredge card, this the uh the Pox Walker card is uh pretty interesting with Cabal Therapy. But is that win more? I I don't know. Darn, no EW for you. Well, I'm going to assume it's just regular old reanimate. I'm going to bring in the pyros. Don't want the spear. Don't really need the boo. This is where things get tricky. Like these three. They're all kind of bad. I guess they could go. Oh yeah, you had a song request. My bad. That uh, technical problem that I was having made me forgetful. Okay, so these three go, I guess. And then... Actually, I don't think I want reflexes, come to think of it. Um, if they show that they're going to go more... Um, uh, what the heck is it called? Um, like mid range, maybe, but if they're going more mid range. I'm usually in good shape. This helps me dig. Okay. Pithic Needle's been worse and worse, too. Like, I'm not smart enough to know the reanimate lists and know, like, if, uh, Um, the heck was I saying? I already forget. Uh, quick reflexes has been pretty good. Okay, so they go mid range here. Okay. Okay. So I, yeah, quick, quick reflexes has been pretty good. It's been, um, tricky. Uh, you have to have something to make it good and certain matchups. It's harder for me to have something. Uh, than other matchups, like, against Control, I'll usually have a permanent. Against Delver, that runs, uh, the Darn Days card, it's much harder to predict. Um. Against me, Days is super good. It might be, like, fine overall in the format. You know, I'm not going to tell other people that. But, like, if you're me, you hate it, you know? Uh, I'm going to see if they have the opposition agent. It doesn't look like they do. Days lover, I hear ya. 
it's very, very good against the stupid shit I try to do. Also, good to see you, Rosa. Grief, okay. Yo, Matt. Good to see ya. This is awkward. This is like the second time this happened where I untap with a knight. Yeah. I I don't have Shadow Spear. I have Haywire Might. I think I go for it. So maybe the shadow yeah, I cut spear in the matchup. Um they usually just, you know, don't go for this plan. I think we had to do that. If I had spear, that wasn't as necessary. Tiger is a bad draw. Okay, so we go bam, bam, bam. We're going to get, I think, God, it's, yeah, I, I took Maze out. Of the deck, I think. Uh, yeah, they did pretty gnarly. Um, I think I can wait one turn on the Haywire Might and have that for the safety of things, and then I'll play this. And, uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Can't block it because it is shadow. Um, can I erase them, though? Inner Galactic. Planetary, planetary, intergalactic, another dimension, another dimension, another dimension, another dimension, the same dimension, the same dimension, another saga. Oh no. I meant to do something different.
But it's whatever. I think we got it. All right. Bowmaster would do it. Oh boy, yeah. Whenever they go like not turbo reanimate your face, I think it increases my chances of winning significantly. Now, yeah, Beastie Father, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh boy. Post game. Yeah, reflexes would have been good to kill the darn thing. I definitely boarded in a way that was like positioned to beat the other one, like, like, you know, the turbo reanimate plan. Sure. Um, so I say this probably like once every four or five streams, but Urza Saga is played in a creature slot. So there's a part of myself that's like very happy when I keep hands like this because it's like, I'm telling myself, like, this would have been a mull, but the fact that it has a saga, it's a land, and that makes me a very, a, a, a smarty pants or something. Yeah, that song is a banger. It's goblins. Okay. Okay, so yeah, watch out for the moon. There's nothing I could do. I think I'm going to get a bird here, and this may look weird because it's like you could just play the noble, but I think I might need the red, especially if I draw a red card, and I want to keep the plow up for sticker here. That also has to die immediately, though. That's that might be the case, actually. They have three in hand. Okay, that's that's actually. Pretty good, but I don't know what to do. The most aggressive move here is um, you smack the Chromox. Okay, well, this is definitely happening now. Yeah, it, it might be that desperate.
kind of like a four mana wasteland or stone rain sort of. Yeah, there it is. Mm. I don't have Pyrite Spellbomb. I have Needle, which I don't think has much text. I can name Skirk Prospector. Is Skirk Prospector a uh, mana ability? I don't think it is. It is not. Oh, is it? Um, you're right. You are right. It is a mana ability. Thank you. Uh, you like... Okay. I think you're right. We'll go Shadow Spear. Scrib is doing an exceptional amount of work here. Uh, leaving the endurance up here. Yeah, I think I think the endurance is better here, but um, we could be dead. If they hit a six, they hit a six. They hit a five? Okay. Maybe I'm alive. Yeah, I, I think the endurance is better, though. Okay. So they added a uh, broadside bomber and ringleader to hand. When it enters the battlefield and like resolves, um, oh, I gotta think here. Uh, they get to add either six, five, or four mana depending on stickers. How the hell stickers works, I have no idea. There's no human alive who could tell you how it works. Um... Okay, so it has to be like pun fire or plow here. It is neither. That's bad.
I am going to get crushed here this turn. So this is gain six. It's pretty good. So they're the broadside thing, which is what I think they're going to do here. Yep. This thing having menace is so annoying. One decade ago, I never thought I would be 23 on the verge of spontaneous combustion. What was me? The basics, too, are really helping them. Right. Yeah. I would be. I, I don't like this version of it, though, where it's just, like, hyper-aggressive. But I, I get why people like it. <laughs> yeah. There it is. He on X Games mode. <laughs> cool, cue that up.
Pardon target player while they burst into flames. Yeah. Trying. Scrib has been, like, so impressive. I took it out for, like, 100 years, and I've just been, like... Card is just so good. In the main deck, you think? Okay. I took it out today. Like, I don't know. I haven't played goblins in years. So, like, I don't want to act like I know something, you know? But, uh... I wanted it to stay an Aether Vile deck, is how I'll put it. Is this Ringleader, I hope? Because they put a Ringleader in their hand earlier. And that I can manage. Like, put more cards into your hand, sure. Just don't get 100 mana. Kill both dorks. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. gonna get a fetch here and I'm gonna hold it the reason I'm gonna hold it is Sylvan might not give me the nicest things here Grove is okay waste is okay I think we take the waste All right. Um, I should have waited on that wasteland, actually. I'm realizing I had lethal. So, did just botch that. They would have had to have blocked anyway, so it didn't matter, actually. They, there's no way they don't see that, you know? There it is. Um, all right. Force of Vigor, I think, although I don't love it. And then these two, I'm confident in. Um. <laughs> he said it. Not sure about the Force of Vigor. I have to think about this. Yeah, good point. Thank you. It might be Sylvan. It's that or the endurances. You like Force of Vigor in this matchup? Yeah, all right, Fox, you're right. My brain, I just, like, reset sometimes.
Yeah. Maybe the Ren. One of the worst things about Ren in this matchup is you can't mill into removal. So this is a mall, unfortunately. Um, this would be a keep if this was like a fetch land here. Oh, uh, High Star had a song request a while ago. Sorry about that. So, Maul. I'm going to keep it, but I'm not happy about it. Bro. Bro. I struggle against you frequently. Not only are you a good player, but you rarely play, like, the meta decks. And I build this deck to beat the meta decks. It's nerds like you that give Maverick a bad name. Alright? Um... Explain meta. Um, the most commonly played decks, such as Delver, Initiative, Beans, Reanimate. Um, but hey, I'm playing an off meta deck. If you would just play the same off meta deck. That'd be that'd be nice. So they have sticker. All right. Uh, I think there's virtually no way I'm gonna win. Yeah, I'll be there. Um, I feel like I could. It has to be like plow or pun here, and I think I still lose. Oh man. Um. We could oof here. Sticker Goblin is three. Or do we just waste and ramp here? Maybe that's better. Oh boy, but then they play Sticker. The Sticker Goblin's happening no matter what. I think it's waste and ramp here, but it's it's looking really bad. That's a good question, Jeremy. Good see you, dear. Yeah, if not, then I get the justice. That's that's true. And the cat won't stat. Alright, so four. So they don't have a sticker in hand any longer. Uh, they could skirk here. They play that shit, sure. And then they hit me for three, six, nine, twelve. Uh, like a million. Okay. So, I, I die. I go to two. Um, and we have a song request. Okay.
Yes. Yeah. I could have killed myself with fiery justice, but then I would have showed them fiery justice. Yeah, it's just what's better, you know? Yeah. That's some office space right there. Hey, Megork. I think we just run it back. Pretty rough. True. Yeah, it's good. It's just... I have two turns to draw one land. So it's like... Yeah, it's pretty rough. Especially without, like, um... Orb or orb kind of cards. Yeah. Then it would be significantly worse. Um, I'm going to get the basic just because. Very good draw, though. Okay. Uh, I'm loving it. I think, right? I think that's all I see. Cool. I shall. Um, I gotta just play the Knight, huh? Yeah. Okay. Is it, should I have video on as well uh, for it? Or is the audio, audio enough, uh, Matt? After the round, okay. Uh, video as well. It's on YouTube, so it's not going to be like, you know, uh, there's a big giant penis, you know, like you wouldn't do that to me. You would troll me, but not that, you know. Cool, thank you. Ah, no, it's a giant dick. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that as well. Say, can I have some of your purple berries? Um, I think we keep up plow. This is tough. I, I. Oh, you wanted the jamster. Okay. Yeah, it's a good one. Those purple berries.
So I, I probably if I if I hit a land drop, I probably waste. Yes. <laughs> Typical stress. Just your your average everyday stress. Yeah, it's definitely not cool based vile port Rakdos goblins, which it should be. Yeah, but I mean, this is looking pretty good. Those are famous last words. Bruh. Um, I think we keep it Scaredy Cat again. Typical stress. <laughs> yeah. It's scary. One sticker. And we're, and we're, yeah. <laughs> Hearse, sure. Oh, they can't even. Yo, they can't even. Oh my gosh. Yo, this collector oof. I think we just outright win here, huh? I will take four. We go wham, bam. Thank Target ma'am. Yeah. The oof is loose. All right. I'm going to pause the song here. Um, okay. It is a banger, but I want to get this from Matt. Uh, where are, is my volume? Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm such a boomer. How do I restart the, the TikTok? <laughs> okay, hold on. I click refresh. Thank you. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. I like it. Restart computer. This restart TikTok. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. I feel like that's something that happens a lot when you go to those places, and uh, I often wonder, like, if they get a kickback for even having that. You know, is it like uh, my mom would always say that? You know, my mom says a lot of things, but she was always like, if you want to donate, go directly to the uh, charity. Given uh you know, the grocery store the money they 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 get a benefit for that somehow. But yeah, pretty good. Little did he know there was a giant cock in the background, and now TOS stream gets shut down. Yeah. That's the true discount. Um, 
playing a little bit fast and loose here. I usually look the opponent up. Um, looks like my opponent is playing a cool deck. Oh, shit. Alright, this is going to be a rough game. <laughs> I did not draw the uh, removal. So, yeah. Alright. We got Maverick, huh? Oh, fuck. Oh, you think D&T? Oh, 80 cards. You are correct. Um, I'm so far behind that I don't think I should waste. I kind of want them to waste me. Needle in the main or in the sideboard is going to be very useful. Yeah, taxes. Yeah, if I had to guess, this is uh, Al Kalith's deck. Yo, Arisa. We taxing. No joke, I had soft tacos today. I guess playing the Sylvan doesn't do much. Dang it, Bobby. Damn it, I hate when they have second land. Um, I guess Sylvan really does nothing and just exposes me to Wasteland next turn. Yep. It's going to be a rough game. They're hellbent, though. So... I think we excavate her here? Yeah... I feel relatively alive. Okay, so if they draw removal, it is what it is. Yeah. I feel relatively alive. For the very fifth time. I feel figuratively dead. Read them and weep. For the very third time. Bad draw.
Danke. That might cost me. So, uh, Haywire might... Hey, Johnny, what's up? Oh, we could just draw another one. Uh, she said that I hit her. <laughs> that is really funny, though. She said that I hit her. It just... It still gets me to this day. <laughs> What? Pretty lucky. Got pretty lucky. No doubt about that. Okay. I feel relatively alive for the very third time. And I think I could fly and people are telling me to stay away from tall buildings. Um, and we do a little trim like that. I got a moment to think about it. You're tearing us apart. I love that. All right. Guess we just do this. The needle is going to be very useful, I think, off the saga for the moms. Against 80 card taxes, trimming the dorks, also bowmasters. It's pretty uh, rough. MF Doom. Mm. Trap hand. That's a keep. I think you're probably right. It's just... I think... I think it's Boo that goes back. But we don't have white mana. So it's like really... Feeling pretty lousy. Probably Sylvan though. Yeah. A little bit tough because um I'm wondering if I play the saga here. I think it's the tiger.
I'm doing this now just in case they play a wasteland. And I wanted to play around Bowmaster on my turn. Wondering if I just get the bird here. So I'm holding the needle for when I need it. When you need it, you get it? Needle. When you need it. Oh, Siegfried and Roy. Lion Sash, yep. Oh, you get it. Okay, that's cool. So Siegfried and Roy ain't bad. All right. Running on the way, Adam, you should be dying another death. I think this has to die. Or... I could just needle it. I think I, I don't think I had a choice here. Yeah, but then I have to keep putting the, I, I already made the land drop for that turn by playing the knight. My goal is to get excavator online.
Okay. Four mana is a lot. <laughs> Glad you liked it. Pretty good dumb joke here. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those. Uh, okay, I think that's fine. I think I'm going to take the risk here. I'm going to plow this thing. I'm not happy about it. Okay. We float here. We get the haywire mite. We sack... We get a fetch. We fetch. Um, I guess basic forest is fine. We excavator here. Yeah. Old CK cry about Napster. Yeah, pretty much. Their fans will never let that go. I get it. So Haywire Might does have some play here. I feel like when you hear that guitar part, you know the song's about to end, but it would be funny if they just restarted it just from the top after that. Just like 45 minutes to see it destroy. All right, what do we got here? I could block it with the knight, but I would not. Zenith, huh? That's pretty good. Um, we fetch. One, two, three. Hmm. This is not my strong suit as a player.
Okay, so I got the arbor for the infinity blocks here. Don't know if that was smart. It is what we did. Yeah. I feel like if you've played the game for a while, you've probably seen elves do some cool stuff with the uh, Quarian Ranger. All right. Um, it makes sense because Excavator in the Saga is just such a good engine here. So, I don't blame them there. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, until the end of time. All right. I've definitely heard this version before the original. Start with a search. Hmm. Let's see, queuing up a few things here. Don't know why, but this like just brings me back to different times. What else we got? Um hmm. Alright, yeah, we're adding that one to queue. Cool. I got two silly songs in the queue. My version of silly, I guess. So taxes, um, a pretty good matchup most of the time. I think um, the Bowmaster stuff is very situationally good against me. Dad joke songs, yeah. There it is. Dad joke songs and classic rock. Here on W-S-T-R-A-D-D-Y. And some 90s stuff. Uh, is it, Delver? Hand in hand. Yeah. Classic rock. Um, this is kind of a sussy baka hand, but we're keeping it. Yeah, that's, that's exactly it, Carador. It's like how they line up, you know? This card's just so damn good. Yeah. Nice opponent. It's tough. I don't think I want the saga yet. The Wasteland is usually a trap. Okay. Alright, so definitely going to Wasteland. Yeah, we shall see. I may have just played myself, though. I just got congratulated for it. 
It's likely. TFW three three. Yeah. Even without the other one drop, like like you would just go your one into their one. Yeah. With no cantrip. Bruh. Alright. Um so this, this. It's like a jungle sometimes. So, nine cards. We'll do the Harry. Yeah, I guess it's not like they can waste you back and play a threat. I've just convinced myself it's always wrong. kind of feel like I'd rather have a third wasteland or third third sylvan over a fourth night am I crazy for that weird bringing in LQR and that but two mana is like a lot or not a lot of mana compared to three It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder. Yeah, it, it, it was a hard... It's a hard sell. In a world of Bowmasters, though. Maybe, like... If I had more time to tinker, I would run, like, a one of, uh... Um... What the hell is it called? Um, Delighted Halfling, um, I think. Could be good as the fifth dork. But then I also am running less legendaries. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't think they were going to be black. I thought that was just going to be blue red delver. And then now we're going to get hit by Bowmaster. I broke my Sacra Iliac. Yo. Good to see you, Ari. Just broke my Sacra Iliac. Okay, so they don't have the thing. Do I want to be at parallel or do I want to keep up things? I think I think I want to get the saga online here. Just want to make sure I don't break my sacra iliac again. Bra. All Abs and Depths is a good deck. Do kids still say Reefer? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> there should be a... Uh... <laughs> A full time episode where one of the kids gets caught with reefer. I don't know if that's one, but it sounds like it could be. It's 
snoozeberries tasted like snoozeberries. <laughs> I think that one went over my head. I hate to say it. Yeah, the coward's basic. And the day's deck with a bad land. Um, it's like a jungle sometimes. Okay, so they're going to get to Descent. Yeah. So now it's a 2-2. Two -two. Bruh. No. It's going to get bigger and bigger. Yeah. So I think I just need to draw a threat. Have it resolve. I'm going to see if I can get a little more value out of this. Yo, Connor. And then they arrested Grandmaster Flash. Poor Grandmaster Flash. Right. Gotcha, Carador. Why did they arrest Grandmaster Flash and the Fabulous Five, or whatever the hell they're called? Cosby sweaters? Alright. I can get into that. Hey. All right. My brain is is hurting here. I think we just plow this stupid thing here. Um I should have made constructs, but I panicked.
just realized I floated an extra mana. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. That goblin was a little weird. It's cool they're trying new things, though. But yeah, it's, um... It gets big, but smaller, but slower than the druid, I think, most of the time. I got a banger right there. Got yet. Canoli. Apcano. I'm so stupid. I'm sure you've told me how to say that before. Uh, yeah, the uh, LQR was really nice. Like, sort of like Veil of Summer, but for Plow as well. But you don't stop Storm, but you get to kill creatures. So it's not much like Veil of Summer. You also have Delver's ability as a one drop you could play. Yeah. But what do I know? I don't know nothing. Uh, okay. Uh, Ka Noel. Apka Noel. Apka Noel. Hopefully, I'm getting it right. But thank you. Uh, all right. So. Next joint is about dinglings. <laughs> Ooh. A wasteland. Very nice. Yo, good to see you. Do I draw a dork? I do not. It's gonna be hard to deal with that. Especially if they have another land. Oh no, we suck again. It's Tony's deck. That's even worse. I thought it was eight cast. So yeah, we're we're dead. We suck again. Quran. TFW don't have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, liquid metal coating. Um. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay.
Bummer. Uh, that's all good. Thanks for stopping in. I I know how life is with that. You're you got a lot going on. But yeah, thank you for stopping in. Um, I'm in big trouble here. If they like, okay. So I can kill that. Now, walking ballista. Okay, that's really annoying. So they can make a 2 2 walking ballista. They can make a giant fucking walking ballista. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say it's giant fucking, it's pretty big fucking, though. They could just kill the noble. And keep that untapped. That might be the move. Okay, that's what they do. All right. Uh, pun fire is. Oh damn it! They have liquid metal coating. Okay. Um. So that means they're gonna be an asshole. That's what that means. Hmm. Tough choice. Okay. Um, is it better? I could ramp. Is that better than just playing the wasteland? Okay, waiting. Yeah, bounce, play forest, and, and ramp. Is that getting further ahead, though, than, um, than just playing the wasteland? It's like, it's like you're, like, exchanging... You're you're pretty much I, I guess you're guaranteeing that the next turn Yeah Having a body that can attack is pretty good. I think the noble might be better though next turn. I think I think having vigilance might be the killer. So I tough call. Definitely worth the think. Yeah. Come to think of it, though, the arbor would have been good to have. But then something else would have been dead. <laughs> uh you tell him when I dip, you dip, we dip when you dip, I dip, we dip. 
put hand on target player's hip. When they dip, you dip, we dip. If y'all ain't dipping, y'all must be tripping. Not having oof is pretty tilt. This is kind of fire, though. I'm not gonna lie. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Bro. Okay. When target opponent dips... Okay. Hand goes on hip. You dip, I dip. When you dip, we dip, I dip. Target, hand. I dip. You dip, we dip. I dip, you dip, we dip. Have to get lucky another turn. So we untap that bad boy. And then we just change it with some fucking jams, Taylor. Okay. Uh, I have... 10 damage next turn at max. Hopefully they have all land and nothing else. If I draw like Haywire Might, I think I hit the Mox Opal. It's like, I don't know. That's a lot of mana. The two ring. Um, yeah, still game one. We're getting one ring at Ed. Yeah. Um, so the only out outs here are Haywire Might or Shadow Spear with any combination of Liberator and... Um, Uh, yeah. Uh, Green Sun Zenith Third Liberator with the Shadow Spear or just Haywire Might. That's not it. Oof is in the sideboard. Yeah. Game one still. 
Um, I could, hold on. Yeah. I could get crazy and really like I could I what I could do and I don't think I should is I could draw 5 cards but not deal damage to them I'd have to like deal it to myself. So, yeah, I could like, yeah, oof would be the best thing here. Um, I could blow the needle up and waste the workshop or something. Um, right. yeah, tough to fit all the things. Oh, why did I get the arbor? That was bad. That actually really slows me down here. I have to like do some tricky shit with oof because I did that. That was dumb. Yeah, it was just bad sequencing, you know. Yeah, we played around days. There it is. I shouldn't have fetched the arbor. I I stop thinking about things. Uh, they're dead next turn if they don't kill me this turn. So. It's a lot of mana. A second ring would be good. Cyborg. We're in game one. Uh, they play whatever the fuck this is. Okay. Oh, they got a million mana? Is it infinite? 
Okay. At least I get to see the win con, huh? Yeah. Oof is really good. Karn degree. Yes. Push the glasses up. Yeah, it's Ballista for a million. Um, I'm going to be a jerk here because I'm close to a trophy. So I'm going to make them spend the time to kill me. Yeah. Chalice on 10. Damn. Damn. I should have played Chalice on 10. Uh. Yeah. Ring the bell. School is back in. That's a good question. What's better than this? Yeah. Well, you know what? They, they actually could pay infinity. We needed it earlier, though. Uh, they have to get... Okay, so here's the Ballista, right? Both. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Emrakul. That's one way to do it. Their ballista was already in egg. They already ballisted once. It's a seventeen seventeen. Yeah, if I if I can get the game two W. I got a decent shot. So it's not Tony's deck. I don't think the Pyroblast does anything. You, you think I should block it? <laughs> All right. I'm blocking it. I think I can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can block it. I'm not afraid of that shit. They got an Autumn Master Core. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Yes. I guess with the master core, I can't. I don't have six permanents. The day and night thing is not a permanent. Um, 
Okay, so I, I'm not going to bring in Pyroblast. That's the only thing I've gathered here at this point. I'm so far up on time that I'm actually going to select the six things just to waste more of their time. So their clock moves. Yeah, maybe they're just they're just on a different level. I'm I'm going try hard tro trophy mode, and they're just enjoying the the moving parts, you know. Could be this that kills Karn. Um, maybe that to play around dismember. That'll be the maybe. Don't think I want this. Don't think I need the endurances. They could shuffle my thing back in. It's like really situational. I think I want the uh, plow for the... Whatever the hell it is. Yeah. That'd be my guess, you know. Or they could be new to MTGO, but who knows? Pun hits Karn, but it's kind of rare that that's good enough. Just wondering if this is a card that I want. I don't think it is. Unfire versus Endurance. Maybe Endurance is better. I'll run one of each. The one of Hero Punfire sometimes comes up. We're not the Grave 8. Okay. I think the one Endurance for the Flash Threat could come in handy. Oh, man. Got all that. This is very good. This is very good. So, um, it's a turn two oof. I don't think we're going to get much better than that. Actually, I do have time for a sip of water. I'm, I'm trying to waste their time. My clock is pretty good here. I can't just, like, totally fuck around. That's true. But then my mox. Then my mox does nothing. One sided oof MH3. Let's do it. I know you all are going to hate me, but I'm I'm kind of wondering if I actually play Knight here over Oof. <laughs> Don't you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> I don't know where you got Chris Rock, but I I, I like that a lot. <laughs> all right, all Okay.
There it is. All right, feeling pretty good. See, I'm a poet to some, a regular modern day Shakespeare. Um, my thought was this is green, so this was like white red. It makes too white, too green, but maybe, uh, maybe not significant enough. Okay. Legit question. Oh, you like the waste. I thought I could take one turn off from that. I'm not too afraid of the constructs. Um, Feeling pretty good about this. Yeah. I am in total try hard mode right now. Lesson. Damn it. One of the Make them play a little longer. All right. Um, wondering if I want these. And Shadow Spear, probably not great. It does come up sometimes. I think the pun Maybe the pun and the endurance, and I keep this. It's like, in the games where you don't have oof, Shadow Spear could be good if they go all constructs. That's like a really weird game, though.
maybe the pun and maybe the boo on the draw is just too slow. This is tough. I'm thinking it's this. Hopefully I don't regret that. It's a turn to Teague with a waste. I think it's good enough. Teague's pretty good. They mold a six. Rim monolith, that's bad. Key, that's really bad. This might even be like game right here. It's a turn one four mana card. Wow. Um It's tough. They didn't play the ring last turn. They they could have. So I feel like I made a mistake, but maybe there was just nothing that I, that could have been done. All right. Force of Vigor is the best top deck here. I'll do a deck thin. Uh, we can get oof, uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, oof. Um, so that's nice. They have one in hand. But we do have a shot here. Saga, okay. I don't fear that so much. Okay. I could just top deck it, huh?
Yeah, pretty much. Um... I don't know what to do. I don't have a second oof. I think I just play the Teague. Yeah. I don't think I have time to, like... Endurance myself. Another option is, uh, yeah, exactly. And once I play the oof, that's it on that. And the constructs are going to be huge. Or the construct is going to be huge. Um, that might be that might be good. Okay. No maze, uh, but I do have, um, I'm worried I'm going to die to like a 9-9 nine -nine if I do that, though. Like, I'm like, definitely, the fact they didn't make it is terrifying. Yeah. Liberator on Saga was another option. Uh, they just have Needle. That's cool. So, Matt. Needle on Night, probably. Map gets Saga. Yeah, it's on Night. Okay. There are so many lines here, huh? I think I get Outland. I think I'm one shy of that, right? Because Outland is four. Yeah. So... I think instead of using Outland, I just get it. And I play Teague. Um, I don't think I need to, right? Am I crazy? Okay. I'm what that endurance might be pretty good.
Wow. Okay. This is interesting. I think we could. Yeah, what what's Yeah, could have flipped Liberator as well. Um I think Teague Waste is good. I think the order might have been a little bad there, too, because if they had dismember. But is what it is. Yeah. Hard to say. Um... Could attack for like a hundred here. Yeah, that's a good point. What else would they have? Um, 10, 11. I got lethal next turn. I think I go for it. Yo, Andre. Close game. Could be. They can't really activate this. Hey. We got there. So here's the thing, chat. I'm going to need you all to be in my ear. <laughs> hey, shit. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um. More questions and answers here. I don't know what the fuck to do about my list. I don't think I play this exact thing tomorrow, but yeah, I'm going to turn all weekend. It's Pretty big confidence builder to have that happen. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, what at the screen? EW, uh, sorry, Saturday. But uh, I'm driving all the way out there uh, tomorrow. Four hours of fucking just, you know, forever. So, um, Oh boy, there it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's take a look at the list. Uh, I think I definitely want Scrib. I can do it. Thank you, thank you. Oof main deck. How the hell do I fit Oof main deck? So things that I could consider. I guess. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know. Two oof, one main deck, one sideboard. And second oof would have been nice. Absolutely need a mall lock. It's it's really tough. Beans and Delver. Yeah, I know. It's just, what the hell do you cut? 
I I think the list is already 61 cards before ball lock. Yeah. I could just be like swayed by like the MTGO meta. Yeah, it's hard to predict. Endurance, I think I want four in the deck. Four in the main deck might not be the case. Holy shit. <laughs> I think you're right. I think Oops did win. Can't believe uh, so many people are forgetting to not play lands. I think what Connor said is, is pretty accurate. I think the majority of East Coast meta, uh, yeah, no comment, uh, is um, blue decks, which is why I've always felt confident playing a Punishing Fire deck as mostly a paper player who came to MTGO only in the pandemic because I couldn't play paper. Um, so the fear is uh punks like you um the daddy um yeah it's been a lot of paper players like blue and like this hits walkers and stuff like that so it's been really good and uh yeah lands is, is played a lot uh compared to a lot of other places so i hear Ooh, that's a rough sell. That may be... I think what happens is maybe the Ren disappears. Or one Endurance goes to the board. And uh, uh, we play a 16-card sideboard and don't tell anybody. No. Um... So just assume there's like a mall lock in here somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah. That's the plan. All right, here's what we do. We go 63 cards. Yeah. I think it's it's just the oof and the teague. Yeah, I guess I could trim a knight. I don't want to, but I guess I could. <laughs> you got you got you got to sniff it sometimes. You got to give it a good whiff. Um Yeah, this this is hard. <laughs> You don't like three nights. Oh boy. It might be the Ren that gets that gets the axe. Yeah. Um I I think it's uh spell combo is gonna kill me. Um play Abzan, you just switch it up. Total audible. Just yeah. Just like picture in that too. I gotta like build the damn thing. I'm not as confident with it. Start fucking sending Harry messages about cyborg configurations and Achilles the day before. 61 is perfect. Oh man. Yeah, I think it'll just be Ren gets the axe. Moloch goes main. I did miss Maze a little bit that league, but I still 5 0 so I don't know. Yo, I'm not even joking. I played, I think it was the daddy, and I was on Loam, and I lost. I'm not even, like, joking on that. Like, 
I went like one four. I'm sure I didn't play it very well. But yeah, I think I think that happened. <laughs> like I didn't realize it until later, like how like confident you were where you were like, this is like eighty plus perhaps your favor. Like of course, like at some I mean you're gonna lose it at some point if you play it enough, you know. They're they're really good hand versus your meh hand or things just line up. You think it's that bad? Okay, well, that's... I guess it just depends on their their configuration and yours, too. Like, if you're packing the ley lines, that's huge. Um... Alright, I am going to, um... get off here. Um... Great seeing everybody, uh... So, uh, thank 5 big confidence builder right before the event. Um, had some really bad two, three leagues right before it. Um, my message to everybody is don't get down on yourself when you're not doing well and just start changing things up. It's about the macro, not the micro. Um, 70 to 75 games, I think, with LQR since it came out. And I think I'm going to go with it in the sideboard. I think that's where I landed. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, like you just leave what you replaced Ren with Moloch? Yeah, that's what I think so. I think that's where I'm going. Uh, Ren is going to be Moloch, I think. Um, I'm expecting a good amount of reanimate and lands. Um, and it's very good against Delver as well. And, uh, I'm losing more against Delver than I ever like to admit. So, my opponent kept the one lander and then died. And then they also played, like, a weird goblin card that no one ever heard of. Ren is really good. I'm gonna be... One thing I'm pretty sure about, though, is I think the Scrib Ranger deserves a slot again. It, it's just overperformed for me. So... Happy to have that in there. Uh, let's see. Are there any other nerds online? Where are the nerds? Um, my man. I see some paper. Um... I think I'll raid some paper modern. I think that's the right thing to do. Andre, great to see you. Uh, that goblin is picking up steam in the Delver Discord. Okay, that might be something to keep in mind. Thank you for that. It is removal as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Riza, Connor, uh, the daddy, Andre, Abkanol. If I'm saying it wrong, all love. I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. I can't read. I can't understand, but I like you. You've always been really cool. Uh, uh, hi, Stark. Yeah. Uh, we are going to raid um, <laughs> um, TCS Rockets. Uh, some modern. Uh, yeah. Catch you later. Um, hopefully some good luck on Saturday. Northern. Yo. Thank you. Yeah, great seeing you, buddy. 5 0, big time today. Have a good night, or a good day, yeah.